women have long demanded the rights and equality with men, to the point where modern constitutions, particularly in France, England, and throughout Europe and America, have increasingly emphasized the rights of women, especially wives, often at the expense of husbands' rights. In some constitutions, the rights of animals surpass those of the husband himself. Frequently, wives boast about their rights and threaten to report their husbands if they do not comply with the oppressive regulations that contradict divine commands. These constitutions have led men to refrain from holding their wives accountable, resulting in the spread of infidelity and illicit relationships. It has become commonplace for a wife to have both a husband and a lover, which is against natural law and divine will. The Holy Bible states, To the married I give this command, not I, but the Lord. A wife must not separate from her husband, but if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband, and a husband must not divorce his wife. Corinthians 7, 10 to 11. These laws have diminished the masculinity of men and the femininity of women because equal opinions and the lack of a wife's submission to her husband lead to imbalance and loss of harmony in life. Christ, in his glory, commanded the submission of wives to their husbands and instructed husbands to treat their wives kindly. The Bible states, Husbands, love your wife and do not be harsh with them. Colossians 3, 19. However, the Lord did not command equality between them because such equality leads to the ruin of households. The Bible also states, Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 22.